Welcome back. This tutorial covers the movement options of the advanced framework, including everything except teleport, which I already covered in a different tutorial. Just to give you a glimpse first, the advanced framework core provides three different movement options for VR. The first and most simple is fluent movement, which is controlled by the by controller functions that can be assigned to any button or thumbstick input of the real life. The problem is fluent movement in VR is prone to induce simulation sickness, so we decided to provide you with a few alternatives. One simple trick to reduce simulation sickness is not showing the full movement, but to fade the player's vision in and out during the movement. This we call stepwise movement. Lastly, we also included ghost movement, in which the player can spawn and move a representative of himself and teleport to its current location at will. Each movement style has its own setup, mostly in the preset PDA and the controls component on the VR pawn. And I will show you several examples in detail, so you can choose what fits your application best. Let's start with standard fluent movement controlled by the thumbstick. For our first step, we need to open the preset PDA matching our supported HMD and add the following controller functions to the thumbstick input. Next, we switch to the pawn and find the controls component. Here we have a whole section in the settings devoted to movement. Let's start with the movements. Here we obviously want to have fluent. The next setting regards how forward, right, left, and so on are defined for the pawn. Here we can either choose direction from camera, which means forward is where the player looks, or Direction from controller, which means forward is parallel to the controller's forward vector. This leaves us only one remaining setting which is relevant for fluent movement, and this is the movement speed, which defines how fast the pawn moves, obviously. And since we are at it, let's have a look at the rotation settings down here too. To ro rotate the pawn by some stick, we also need to assign the controller functions in the preset. And then we can choose Fluent here for Fluent Rotation and set the rotation speed below. Again, the other settings do not concern us now. As you can see now, I can move the pawn in any direction and rotate using the left and right control. As nice as this is, the Fluent movement type is prone to cause simulation sickness in VR. Therefore, the advanced framework provides some alternatives. Of those, stepwise movement is the most similar to fluent movement. It simply means that the player's vision fades in and out during the movement while the pawn continues moving. And practically the only setting we need to change if we want to go from fluent movement style to stepwise movement style is the movement style, obviously. Next, we can adjust also adjust the stop motion interval to define how often in seconds the player's vision fades in and out, and we are good, uh, good to go. Back in VR, the player's vision now fades in and out where the pawn moves. You can do the same for rotation, by the way. If you adjust the rotation type to step, set the rotation angle per step here and the step duration here. And finally, use this boolean to decide if the player experienced a fade during the rotation. But this is not the only option the advanced framework offers to get around simulation sickness. If you want to be a bit more fancy, you can use the ghost movement style. It's a bit more elaborate to set up, but let's try it anyway. Let's go into the preset first. With ghost movement, we do not need most of the controller functions. It suffices to assign one controller function, move to an input, like this.
The rest comes from the setting that's on the controlled component. First, we change the movement style to ghost, obviously. Let's just try it out right away so you see what the ghost looks like. As you can see now, when I initiate the movement, a ghosty form of the pawn moves according to my instructions. And if I quit moving, the pawn is practically teleported to the location of the ghost. So how can the player control the ghost? Well, here the movement direction comes in again. Let's try one of the other settings. Direction from control for And now the ghost moves into the direction my controller points to. And for one last example, put the movement direction to direction relative to controller position. This setting was implemented especially to control the ghost and does not work with any of the other movement steps. Starting the movement, it saves the current controller location and moves the ghost according to which position the controller has relative to its original location. Finally, let's not forget the move with fade boolean. Set it to true if you want a fade when the player is moved to the ghost location, and if not, set it to false. With that, you should be up to date regarding the movement options of the advanced framework. I hope you can find something to suit your project. With that, I'll sign off. See you soon. Bye bye.